and welcome back to Jazz's Angel Number Tarot. It is a different vibe over here because today we are connecting into the sign of Capricorn for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements, wherever you have the Cappy placement in your charts. Before we get started, DM my Instagram in the description below if you'd like a private tarot reading. You can ask whatever question you want for your reading. Like this video, please. Subscribe to my channel and comment below what video you want to see next. So let's just get right into it. Again, this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. <clears throat> what does Capricorn need to know? Okay, caregiver. What oh, messages need to come through for Capricorn? Oof. I immediately felt, felt just like a sense of peace. I also just heard forgiveness. We have Inspire Passion that just came out. I feel like we're, we're moving on from a situation, not allowing it to hurt us anymore because I feel like two parties have come to an agreement um, and an understanding of each other and it's like we're moving together in our future. That's just what comes through very positive like finally we can move forward past this you know hard spot and you know continue to grow um and learn and experience love and just all good stuff i'm feeling for you guys capricorn okay obviously not taking all of those well, let's see any other any final messages for capricorn that want to come out any final messages for capricorn that want to come out all right so we have self-love, serenity, listen, inspire, passion, caregiver, and cleanse. So let's just get right into it. Uh, let's start here with serenity. The most important relationship that you can have is with yourself. This is a time to honor, nurture, and love yourself more by seeking out and removing any negative feelings and emotions that are left over from yesterday. Don't let past issues and resent resentments interfere with serenity today. That is so crazy. I barely use this deck. I use this deck maybe like once a month just for these spreads really. So I don't memorize these cards at all but it's so funny because that's literally what i was just explaining to you guys when i got the serenity card i was like wow this feels very peaceful i feel like we're moving past some old energy and i was just picking up on that stuff uh intuitively before reading these so i'm glad we're we're in alignment Woo! that's always that always feels really good all right <laughs> almost dropped it let's get into self-love now now is the time to love nurture and heal yourself self-love is not simply a state of mind about feeling good it's a state of appreciation for yourself that grows and matures from actions that you take to support your body mind and soul so I've explained this before but self-love isn't just about you know doing things that make you feel good having a spa day you know getting yourself pretty feeling nice and clean it's also about putting action behind your hopes, your dreams, you know, just like you would support, you know, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your partner, your parent, if they really wanted to follow their dreams and open up that shop or start their business or, you know, go for that promotion. That's that love and support you're giving to them, you know, that can be translated into self-love and given into yourself. So I feel like you'll, you'll really experience this serenity, this grace. It just feels like release. I immediately felt that when I started. I'm surprised we didn't get the forgiveness card. I, I feel like there's a forgiveness card in this deck, but yeah, let's keep going. So we have listen. Um, at the bottom of this one, it says you have to be willing to listen if you want to really understand someone. Not as, now is not the time to be offering advice, but to be a compassionate listener. To listen fully and intently means to pay attention, not to just what's being said, but what lies beneath the words. So Capricorn, wow. I don't know why this camera keeps focusing on this lamp. Like, do I need to turn, or not the lamp, but the lantern. Like, do I need to turn it around? It keeps focusing on these two. Anyways. The listen energy just really kind of lets me know, uh, Capricorn, that the most important thing for you guys right now is to just listen to what the universe is telling you. The universe is guiding your steps. Universe, God, Spirit, Divine, 
higher self, whatever you believe in, there's definitely a higher power that's, you know, trying to direct your steps and give you insight and information at this time. So um, listen to those, those uh, messages coming through. Make sure you're paying attention to things that seem out of the ordinary. I saw uh, an omen <laughs> myself this morning. Um, so I have to decode that later and see like what messages are trying to be communicated with me. But when you see something that uh, looks a little out of place or it's unusual, question it. You know, Don't just say, oh, that's weird and, and move on. All right, so we have caregiver. Uh, we are with you, and spirit has its own way of recognizing the care and love you provide to others, especially at the end of their lives, just if you've received the care and love at the start of your life. Caregivers often focus all of their attention on their loved ones and often neglect their own concerns and well-being in the process. Capricorn, you guys really do have this stable, organized energy about you, and you like things to, you like stability. That's just what it is, you like stability. You're not the sign that likes to be in consistent, you know, chaos and craziness. Like maybe, I don't know, I'm not calling out any signs today. I begin to trouble. But <laughs> you guys, um, you like stability. And I feel like you've been that caregiver, um, you know, to, to so many people. And it's time to listen to your own body. Do you feel tired? Are you exhausted? Are you sleeping all of the time? You know, those are symptoms of you being physically exhausted or even emotionally exhausted. That can make you tired. It can have a, a physical response. So listen to your own body and also the messages of, you know, uh, the universe around you. So then we have cleanse. <clears throat> Uh, at the bottom of this one, it says your mind, body, and soul are urging you to take out time for some much needed cleansing. I mean, seriously, Capricorn, I think you guys get it at this point. It's it's so huge, but it's so important. And I feel like you guys may be resisting taking some time out to take care of yourself because that's why it's so drilled in because your entire message is just like, take care of you, take care of you, Capricorn, Capricorn, like you, 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 focus on you. Don't be that supportive person for everybody else. Like focus on you for a moment, <laughs> like every single card. Um, uh, yeah, just as you wash your car, clean the house, or tidy your office, your body also needs some care and attention. It's time for some spiritual, emotional, emotional, and physical cleansing is what it says. So yeah, guys, you get it at this point. Inspire passion is our last one from these, and we'll move on. What's this one about? Um, life devoid of passion can be boring, uninspired, and a blank canvas that soul slowly drains the soul. Now is a time to reignite your passions and rejoin life. This is an opportunity to set new goals, which will in turn reconnect you with all that is sacred. So Capricorn, if you're feeling disconnected or just like you don't have, you know, any ideas like you're, you're not inspired at all at this time you feel like yeah you, you know you know the world is your oyster it's a blank canvas but it's taunting you with this endless possibility and it's making it so hard for you to decide what you want to do um it's definitely time to and i think that's why it's so important for you to cleanse yourself of everyone else's energy so you don't make a decision as far as what direction you want to go in your life or where you want to be what you want based on what other people want because the thing is when you start to help people you know so much you become attached to you know their journey it's like a parent has a kid in, you know in a play and you know you've seen that kid learn their lines and you've helped them you've stayed up late at night to help them you've sewn costumes you've you know supported them when they cried because they were upset because something just wasn't working and da 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 da, -da. you become a part of that person's vision and invested in their story and it's important for you to cleanse right now Capricorn because I feel like you've been invested in too many stories you've been supportive of too many people outside of yourself and it's like you got to get that energy off of you you got a card that fell yeah sun card this is time for your personal win you got to wash that energy off of you so that you can um you know um inspire your own passion and, and get on your own journey. That's what I think it's time for. All right, any other messages for Capricorn? Any other messages for Capricorn? Any other messages? Any other messages for Capricorn? All right. 
bottom of the deck we have the temperance card in reverse so that lets me know there's definitely an imbalance here capricorn um and it's an imbalance of self i i feel like see here's the thing <laughs> we have the sun card and the justice card i absolutely love this because this lets me know really to be honest whatever you invest your time and energy in at this time um is is as long as it's something that's in alignment with what you truly deserve karma is going to be served justice is going to be served in the best possible manner okay um what i'm saying is you've done so much for other people around you you have nothing but good karma waiting for you <laughs> period okay and with this sun card this is a clear w this is a victory this is a win okay this is success um this is growth expansion you know i'm getting a lot of money energy too um we got some good energy here for you capricorn it's just a matter of picking something and investing your time in it um because with this two of pentacles you you're just you're juggling a, a, a few too many things and you're doing it well but the thing is integrating like your own personal desires wants and the things that you want for your life it, it may be a bit of a struggle uh to integrate you know yourself into your well-oiled machine of working for everyone else if you know what i'm saying um and then we have the eight of swords in reverse do not be afraid tap into that queen of wands energy okay you're not afraid to solve other people's problems you don't you know cower in fear when your best friend is like oh my god like i start talking to that boy again like oh my god and he played me like you have no issue with helping her out of that situation you're like okay sis we're gonna do this this and this or okay bro we're gonna be doing this and this and this you know what i'm saying like you have no issue attacking other people's problems be that same person for yourself capricorn don't play yourself don't play yourself invest in yourself babe all right let's keep going i'm gonna pull from Ooh. okay okay should I take them? I mean, okay. Uh, no, I'm not going to take them. I didn't set my intentions yet. Let's pull. Ooh, they want to jump out for you today. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's pull from the romance deck. There are some, some messages for you in terms of romance. They are like jumping out. <clears throat> what are the messages for Capricorn? What does Capricorn need to know? Go ahead. And matters of love Ooh. see with religious factors i feel a change coming and that's why we have the keep an open mind card the cards are talking for you today honey okay at the bottom of the religious factors card it says your love life is influenced by your spiritual upbringing or i'm sorry your religious upbringing or your spiritual path i feel like capricorn has already turned a new leaf and i feel like or this new leaf this new journey that you're on where it's more you centric where it's more focused on yourself um to be honest people aren't liking that capricorn people aren't liking that and they're wanting you to do what they want you to do they're wanting you to be you know the person that they want you know they're not ready for this some people around you are not ready for your spiritual path you know causing you to ascend and kind of leave them behind or they're not comfortable with the new person that you've become that's more focused on you versus them and that's kind of why we got to try to before we get to this point not give to people so much so we don't end up in this position with all this you know static because people are not liking that we're not focused on them anymore so don't be surprised if during this journey someone from the past comes back because for one as soon as you energetically pull away from people especially people who you've been intimate with they're they can feel it it's a feeling they're gonna feel intuitively oh my god i need to reach out to them because they're gonna feel you walking away from them simple predator and prey you chase after something it's gonna run away from you but as soon as you stop it's gonna be like oh things are safe again let me go wander back to where i was or let me go wander back close to them you know it's it's that energy that i'm feeling for you guys capricorn so don't be surprised Whew, with that okay all right let's see <sighs> okay let's get heart to heart conversations uh out of the way honestly discuss your feelings with each other is what it says um at the bottom of that card i definitely feel a heart to heart conversation coming on with you um and a heart to heart conversation doesn't end have to end with you know you parting ways from someone um heart to heart conversation is basically getting off your chest honestly and truly what you need to say not holding back out of fear that oh they'll never want to talk to me again or oh they'll run away from me they don't want to hear that i don't want to tell them that bad news 
news like do not be afraid capricorn be strong tell people listen this is how i'm living my life at this point this is what i need to do for me and if they don't understand it then that's them being selfish you know because they get such a benefit from you that they would love to see you stay exactly where you are capricorn but it's time for growth and that's just on period all right let's keep going Passion, keep an open mind and express your love. At the bottom of the passion card, it says, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. This is your time. This is your day. This is your day. This is your day. <laughs> it's a little video. Anyways, <laughs> this is really your time. This is your day, you know, to experience passion and love and joy and expansion and finally just have your moment. Like everyone else has been able to have their moment. Like, you know, it's, it's unfair. Like a going back to that example of you know the play how unfair would it be if at the end of the play only the main you know the lead got to got to bow and then the show just ended no we want to see all the cast members we want to see the lighting guy bow we want to see the sound guy we want to see you know the crew we want to see the supporting roles like everyone played a part in this bigger picture this is your time Capricorn and it's unfair for people to try to you know say no I, I this is still my time you don't get to honor yourself you know that's selfish babe and um, it's important for you guys not to be persuaded by that selfishness okay not to feel like you know what you're right let me let me give you the rest of everything I got no ma'am it's your time all right keep an open mind express your love your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations go ahead and make the romantic gesture is what it says at the bottom of express your love so yeah guys keep an open mind you got some new energy coming through and i'm excited for you because it's well deserved you've you've been hazed okay you put in your um, you know, you've put in work, you've done your part, you've been a part of other people's storyline for so long. It's just time for you guys to have your moment. We got the full moon in Cancer and the full moon in Leo. Wow. Don't let your pride get in your way. Every decision that you make from today on Capricorn needs to be at the bare minimum a balanced decision or for you, at least for a while. Okay, at least for a while, um, because don't let your pride get in the way is basically about, you know, don't allow that that knowing that you have that you're a divine healer keep you away from your own expansion that is pride you feel prideful when you help people when you enter a damaged relationship and they're you know a better person at the end you're like you wouldn't have been that way if i didn't make you and you're proud of that you're prideful about that but don't allow that to get into shadow energy babe and feel like you still need to keep keep helping okay new moon and leo all right, and then we have, or I'm sorry, full moon in Leo. Um, the full moon in Cancer at the bottom of this card, a personal issue reaches resolution is what it says. So I do feel you guys, um, you know, resolving something from the past or making amends with someone, coming to, um, what's the word? Basically coming to like an understanding or a, a acceptance. I'm not able to really find the word I want to use, but coming to terms with a situation. Um, we have the new moon in Taurus. Prosperity lies ahead. And this is prosperity for you, okay? This is not you realizing and seeing someone else's dream and, you know, feeding even more into them. This is your prosperity. This is what you deserve. Like, it's, it's just so good. Full moon eclipse and the waning moon, what do you need to release? And conclusions are within reach. So if you've been on a cycle with someone and it's just been bad all the way, you're about to end that cycle. Um, you're about to walk out of that. What do you need to release? You know, definitely put some action behind this Capricorn because like I said before, people are gonna try to persuade you to do what you're being called to do. But right now you're being called to give yourself all of that love that you've been giving to other people, at least so you can recharge. If you feel like it is your divine purpose just to help other people and be a part of their storyline, fine. Um, but it's we, we at least need a moment to recharge because you can't give that to someone on an empty power bank. So yeah, babe, that was your message. DM my Instagram on in the description below. If you'd like a private tarot reading, you can ask whatever you want for your reading. Like this video, please subscribe to my channel and comment below a video you want to see next. I love you. Be careful what you wish for and I will see you in the next one.